Welcome back to the Garden. It's the 15th anniversary show, and it would not be complete without OCW's resident Hollywood star, Justin Jest. Look at how fancy he looks. So immaculate. So excellent. So pretty. He's a pretty man. I, I ain't afraid to say it. Justin Jest is a pretty man. Paul. I'm hot. I've never looked that good in my life, Jason Clinton <laughs> sensation. I agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> there, there was that time in life. In like in like 07 though for just a second like you had one skinny phase you first you first that's had. super mean i've been skinny my whole <laughs> life <laughs> but skinny or fat i'll tell you who i haven't looked like it's this man it's justin jess I wonder where he gets with a beautiful done. chest i wonder where he gets his hair done i think it's the same place where paul p used to get his hair done when paul p had good hair the good hair that vintage Justin Jess shine. Talking about the match a little bit, his opponent tonight. Uh, unfortunate member sucked into the Castianity wave. It is rookie T.Y. Sparks and Jess trying to lead the way, trying to lead T.Y. to the light. But unfortunately, like our arena, all he sees is darkness. Now, uh, like, take us, take us through this because a couple weeks back, B-17 kind of made a proclamation, basically saying that he, that he wants Ty to bring Justin Jess, like, what do you think? Like, home or to me or something like that? That's creepy. I don't know. They want him to let them in. I've never heard that before. Neither have I. Where'd that come from? Oh, there he oh, is. Oh, man. There he is. The devil himself, or in this case, the devil's butler. <laughs> T.Y. Sparks introducing his mentor, another member of the Castianity cult. The two men who took over Turmoil as part of Castianity, debuting this year at Devil's Night in a losing effort against the Uncrowned, who we will see a little bit later tonight. Uh, hopefully the abuse of B-17 has gotten to T.Y. Sparks, and maybe he can kick it into high gear here tonight for our OCW 15th anniversary crowd. I mean, you say you say it's a cult, but Ty Sparks looks incredibly happy. Most people aren't really that happy in the cult. They're just content, at least, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Uh, now, you know what I'm not wrong about is the fact that this man has more more outfits than uh, uh, than we have people in this arena. And I'm not entirely sure that the people in a cult are unhappy analogy was not directed <laughs> at OCW itself. That to the side, we've got T.Y. Sparks. Coming up now, I, th I believe the last time we saw T.Y. Sparks in a pay-per-view was at Road to Glory 2019 in that rookie cluster fudge battle royale. But we got him right now against the Justin Jest, who looks more interested in B-17, but now finally turning his attention to Ty Sparks, Jason Sensation. I mean, you might you might be right. I almost had a bit of a, a incorrect recollection. I thought that he was at Devil's Night, but that was, that was not the case because his team came up short, like you mentioned before. Back to the action. I, I, I stand corrected. That's right. I literally just said he was at Devil's Night before saying that he was at Road to Glory. My apologies. Before Devil's Night, we hadn't seen him since Road to Glory at an OCW pay-per-view. But I'll tell you what we are seeing. It's a big-time knife-edge chop. He's got his own walk of fame, and tonight it's T.Y.'s chest. Oh, uh, but you know what? You, you can't be out there talking out there and then gallivanting around. You got to kind of focus, uh, focus on the match, the task at hand. T.Y. might be smaller. Uh, he might not be as powerful, but he is incredibly quick, incredibly flat, fast, incredibly agile, and then he has under the tutelage. Oh, poison! Whoa, poison Rada! He is uh, he's under the tutelage of B17, who is a former multiple-time champion. Uh, the guy's pedigree is he speaks for itself. As weird as he is, or as aloof as he can be, he is uh, a mentor to have. And these two men in the ring right now. Showing their, their quickness and their athleticism. And how about T.Y. Sparks early on getting the better of Justin Jess? I told you. One could say Cast that... Christianity's uh, Prince of Flight, Jason. One could say that Ty Sparks is uh, a quicker than a hiccup. And here comes that big-time pin attempt early on in the match. And... Even if, even if, Jason Sensation, you don't get the three count, it's got to wear your opponent out to have to continue to kick out of pins over and over. Indeed. Back to the action, Justin. Just catching the foot, but it's not going to work out. A big rotating kick to the face. B-17 just monitoring the action. He's a wild card in this. It can almost turn into a handicap match in the right situation. Having, having B-17 at ringside is actually very fortuitous for Ty Sparks because, he, as you said, he is the wild card, but more specifically, he is 
the ace in the hole for Cassianity and right now for Ty Spots. Because if anything goes si sideways, you know, B-17 can just step in there and even up the odds. And T.Y. certainly looks frustrated after oh! that big drop kick. Lands and how about another one, kid? <laughs> He hasn't been watching his tape. He has, he has not been watching the tape. He has not been watching the drop kick. Oh. And now just in full control as he puts him in timeout here in the corner at the OCW 15th anniversary show. Continuing to pound his chest. One could say that Justin Jess, while pounding his chest, is stomping a mud hole in T.Y. Sparks. Back and right now he looks like the best. <laughs> T.Y. Sparks, thank you, no thank you. Getting caught in a front face lock, and now we've got a big-time neck breaker. Oh, feel the love, and the Hollywood icon dropping down. And Castianity, this is uh, really goes back to everything they've been doing since Season 15 started, bringing B-17 out for this matchup as B-17 getting involved. You don't see Elsa oh, Holmberg oh, out oh, here. Oh, oh, oh. And just taking his eye off the prize for just one moment. You can't do that. Like I said, it just takes a second, and that's your that's your problem. And Elsa shouldn't be out here anyway. You can't you can't be out here when you got these these psychopaths from Cast. Yeah, look at Ty Ty getting a quick pep talk from B seventeen. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> He's B seventeen leaning into the ear of Ty Sparks. Who knows what went through that message? Oh, that could have been. Creepy. I'm sure whatever he said was very mean spirited and very similar and sexual, to, perhaps and similar to Cast. No. How about another drop kick and how about another powder? T.Y. Sparks needs another break. And I think I do too because Sparks is getting the daylight whipped out of him. Oh, look at V17. He's had enough of rest. He's tossing him right back into the ring. Oh, no, you can't you can't rest when you're uh, when you're Cassianity. One could Big time clothesline from Justin <laughs> Jess. My God, Jason Sensation. Indeed. Indeed, try to process it all. Ty's gonna have to, you know, fight back a little bit. He's a little bit behind. Justin just firmly in, the, in in control. And we're going to need some T.Y. spark of life here in order to turn this match around. This is similar to what we saw, J Jason Sensation, at Devil's Night when the uncrowned just absolutely took apart Castianity by isolating T.Y. Sparks. And my God, look at the stomps. I mean, basically like, like Donna Summer, T.Y. Sparks has to turn to beat around. <laughs> And comboing like his mentor in his prime, the Doom Machine, B-17, up on the apron, off the apron. Here's the pen attempt. After the leg drop, not going to be enough, just a two count. It's going to take a little bit more than that to, to, to keep Justin Jess down, who hasn't really had that much a big match experience, although he was at Resolution. I forget the number. Was it 12? Was it 13? It's been so many. Oh! Resolution, Resolution 13 against his friend Capo Genovese, former OCW star. Right now, Justin just going out on his own, and it looked like he had full control. But Cassianity, nice move there. A flip over kick, not even leaving his feet. Ty, wow, he's just, he's just, he's just giving him the, the middle fingers towards that disrespect. <laughs> How about another drop kick for your troubles, kid? You want to be disrespectful? You, you get drop kick in the mouth, kid. Oh, 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 he's just laying the mid. He's just putting them hand balls in. He got a modif modified clutch. Oh, oh clutching. I don't know what the hell that was. Was that a drop a driver? Some kind of indie neckbreaker to be certain. And now showing off his new muscles is the Duke of Dropkicks, Justin Jest. The Duke of Dropkicks, I like that. Here's the cover. Ted now not going to get a pinfall off of that. He, and, and you brought it up before, all of this gallivanting around the ring. He, he only got a one count there. You got to go down right away. There you go. You got to hook both legs to the Duke, the, the, the Duke of the Dropkick and the Prince of the Pose down. <laughs> And right now, the Prince of Flight taking advantage with a drop kick oh, to the oh. basement. And now, oh, a front handspring. You don't get to see that every day. And how about a high flying boom? So not going to connect. Oh, he came up short, but don't, don't sit there and taunt. I don't, know, I don't know what you're doing dancing around. Just oh. to have to look out, DDT. Oh, and Justin. A rookie in his own right, apparently, as he's not able to pull T.Y. Sparks away from the ropes so, after his so, signature I, DDT. I think, I think he didn't expect that uh, uh, Ty would be so close to ropes. Here's B-17 being a B-7 bitch and getting in the way. Get out of there. Sit down. Ted, do your job. Get this, this son of a bitch off the top of the ramp. Top of the and ramp. as oh. Ted goes through the motions, oh. these two men are certainly not oh. there beating the hell out of each other here. Big opportunity to get a win at the 50th anniversary and before the pin. T.Y. getting out of dodge. Justin just about to punch out the frost. 
from oh <laughs> oh moonsault showing the kid how it's done and this is dangerous here as now b17 uh, this this could uh turn sour quickly i guess he's trying to make sure that ties back on his feet oh jesus christ <laughs> speaking of feet jason sensation oh look at that see justin jesson's putting his hands justin Jesson is not trying to get any issues not trying to get disqualified for any kind of shenanigans he's not putting his hands on b7 he's being pl playing it smart that's a veteran maneuver being smart hooking one leg you should probably hook both but just gonna hook one for this time and again the time that it takes for him after a big move to go for the cover that's got to be costing him. that's got to be a, a good sample of ring rust for justin just oh jesus oh Nice Hurricane Rana and T.Y. Sparks looks to gather advantage. I always got to default to you for strategic questions. You've, of course, been in the ring for some of OCW's biggest moments over the last 15 years. Meanwhile, I am shaped like a fat Ellen DeGeneres, so I would No! Oh, my God! What a frog splash! Are you kidding me? The cover! It was halfway around the goddamn ring! Unbelievable that that did not get the job done as T.Y. Sparks... Now trying to get just now back to his feet. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. And Justin just doesn't know what to do with himself. That just took him for that just took him for a loop. And getting caught with the reverse DDT. Justin just out like a light. He's in trouble. And the Prince of Flight. Oh, he just got dumped to the outside. Just gonna capitalize on this though. No, he didn't. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's spaghetti! Able to hang on. Oh, it's high red just. Oh, to the high red oh, oh, the power of Justin Jess! No. The strength of Hollywood! Backbreaker! Oh, he just caught his ass like Arnold Schwarzenegger in Commando. <laughs> Remember, Ty, when I said I'd kill you last? I lied, who? Uh oh. You are a scumbag, Jason Sensation. <laughs> Here is the reset, and now T.Y. Sparks coming out of all, and he got caught with a boot to the back of the head. Uh, that's just rookie inexperience right now. It's just kicking in. He's not used to the bright lights in the big city, baby. And we may be on cue for a Hollywood ending, but starting it off now, just wearing him down with this headlock. He's in Ty, Ty Spark is in, as one would call, deadly ground once again. Justin Jess is taunting to the crowd. Maybe he should just focus on his opponent and stop dancing around. Uh oh! oh. Hollywood <laughs> Roller! Is that going to be enough? Here's the cover. Justin Jess not able to get it done. TY is showing a little heart of his own. Of course, uh, a little bit ago, we did see the man with the most heart in OCW take down the legend Austin Lee. Can T.Y. Sparks get a big win of his own here against OCW veteran Justin Jest? He might. He, he might or he better because if not, B.C. is probably going to beat him with a stick or probably a sack of potatoes frozen with oranges. I don't know, man. He's a weirdo. He's creepy. I, a I sock saw full of nickels is heading his way if he's not able to I take saw care of Justin and I, was Jess. Like, I was like, hey, man, how you doing? And he's just stuffing He's just stuffing oranges in a sock. And I'm just, you know, you got to walk away when, you, when someone does that. Like, I was like, can I have one? He's like, no. I was like, all right, well, man. Nice to see you, too. That's just that's just conventional wisdom yeah, right there. Nice to see you, too. Be Uh-oh, Ty Sparks is feeling it now. T.Y. Sparks. Just is in trouble. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh! Oh, oh, no! He hit a DDT. That's the Hollywood ending. Oh, but he's, he's going he's going for something else. I don't know what the hell he's trying to think of. I don't know if that was a wise idea. Should capitalize. I don't know what to... Oh! Oh, my God! That's a bingo punch! That's a bingo punch! Off the ropes! T.Y. Sparks with the move that his mentor has made famous. The bingo punch heard around the world. Holy sh! Oh, I guess I guess mission completed for uh, T.Y. Sparks. Oh no, what's gonna happen to Justin Jess? This is unbelievable. Castianity picking up their first win of the night here at the 15th anniversary show. This is just. Uh, Justin Jess is leaving, rightfully so. He's, he just he just got the hell knocked out of him out of nowhere by Ty Smart. It's crazy. I, I guess he's giving him his just due, but this is unbelievable.